So we are sitting at a fortuitous intersection right now. I would argue a creative renaissance. When we come to Cannes, what's really interesting is that as marketers, we're thinking about connecting the dots, driving deeper discussions, and creating deeper connections between brands and audiences. But in the spirit of creativity, in the spirit of being here and, and connecting the dots from different places, I thought within this spirit, I'd, I'd bring forth some, some true thought leaders within the space. Deeper. Uh, what I want to do is unpack the very essence of creativity itself and then move toward talking about how to augment our own intelligence. So I have a world-renowned physicist, a prolific AI artist, and an AI PhD, and also business intelligence thought leader and author. I think uh, there's some very prolific folks on this stage that could definitely speak to all of these things and, and weave all of these different themes together. But really what we're going to get out of this is that we're going to think about creativity in, uh, in a much deeper way than we've ever done before. So. My focus is on uh, the area of uh, human and computer interaction. Uh, it's sort of grounded by uh, some things that um, I think trace the development and this new hype around AI, which is, you know, we used to think about, you know, computers as a, you know, defined by the system of automation that, you know, was a little bit rigid. Uh, I think with the rise of these concepts around AI, we're, we're finding um, that it's not only evolving into something different, something that can operate as a potential creative partner, uh, but also something that functions more like the Chinese definition of computer, which is uh, electric brain. We're kind of developing this new uh, way of, of cognizing, which really inspired some of my uh, work around engaging these systems as uh, a collaborator. No, I find that fascinating in that you've been able to see through this collaboration, um, mm -hmm. the evolution of your own creative process, being able to link and, um, you know, as we think about it as, a, as creative marketers, we're thinking about bringing in data sets, so we're, all fi we're often looking at patterns in which we can predict future behaviors, mm -hmm. but you're looking at it as a, as a pure hybrid, nuanced collaboration between yourself and, and it goes beyond just mimicry. It's like it, it becomes a part of you in a sense. Very much so. And yeah. I think I've been able to really consider my own process differently through, through creating these types of machines. Um, and I think that's really important to really um, get at it at that level, at the level of gesture and intuition. Um, and I, I think we'll, we're going to start seeing more projects that engage machine learning in that way. I think it's really important to be able to engage these systems at the level of um, expression, expression and human intuition. I think when I've worked with these systems, I realize not only uh, the tenuousness of a lot of it, but also um, how interconnected all these, um, uh, all these systems actually are. So and it couldn't have come at a better time. You know, right now, given the fact that we have developed as far as we have developed as a technological civilization, we are drowned by data, right? We have massive data, not just in your industry, but in every industry, in science of all. You know, science has reached a plateau because people just can't, scientists can't just process the information and the data that's out there. So artificial intelligence has come as a multiplier, as a, as a, as a cognitive multiplier, an enabler of the next leap in cognitive evolution, which is to use the minds that we have, and they're pretty powerful, but use that lever of AI in order to do more things. So it's great to hear, to hear what Su Gwen is doing because he's exploring that kind of relationship, right? What does it mean to, in, to work side by side, to interact, work side by side, to collaborate, you know, to be friends with, okay, something that more, it is, it's becoming more and more human-like. Okay, although it is not human, it's becoming more and more human-like in its behavior. So this is a transformational, in my opinion, moment, right? So where does the role of creativity come into play? I think we're, we're, we need to rediscover creativity in this new world. That's, that's my opinion, right? Creativity has a fundamental uh, role to play, right? Because creativity is all about doing things that cannot be predicted, you know? Creativity is all about the unpredictable, not the predictable, okay? And that's where I see the value of, of creativity.